for those of you who don't know me, I'm Neil McFarlane, a TriMet's general manager for a little under two weeks now. But I want you to know that I've been with the agency for 19 years and have been following these recent issues very closely. All of us at TriMet are saddened by the tragic accident that occurred on April 24th in downtown Portland. It may very well be the darkest hour of our existence. I, as well as many others at TriMet here, here at TriMet, have personally expressed our condolences to Mr. Sale, the father of Danielle Sale. And as head of this agency, I want to make a solemn commitment here that we're going to do everything we can to prevent such a tragic accident from occurring again. As you know, my predecessor, Fred Hansen, initiated a top-to-bottom safety review that is underway. Elements have already been implemented. The comprehensive review is being led by an independent safety expert affiliated with the National Safety Council. And phase one of this review was released in early June, and some of the recommendations have already been accepted and put into place. We're in the midst of tracking the rest of those recommendations and determining the next steps for them. We've also undertaken a review of all of our 81 bus lines, all bus stops, all turns, and some adjustments, as you know, have already been made as well. Today, I'm here to commit to implement two recommendations in that phase one review. First, I've begun recruiting for a new safety and security director for TriMet, and that safety and security director will report directly to me, not three layers down in the organization as it did previously. By making this change in reporting structure, I'm sending a very strong message that safety is our highest priority and the culture of safety at the agency begins at the top with me and touches everyone at this agency. The other recommendation is requiring that all personal electronic devices be turned off and stowed, stowed while operating a bus or train. Primate's policy in the past has been only that the personal electronic device be out of sight but not turned off. While personal electronic device was not involved in the April bus accident, I wanted to make this change. So once again, we send the very strong message that um, TriMet operations need to be strong with no diversions. The third announcement I'm making today is I'm creating a safety and service excellence task force. The task force will include a variety of stakeholders and expertise that will further the work of the comprehensive safety review. Its goal is to ensure all major aspects of the agency work will be reviewed and recommendations for improvements made. In my experience, uh, companies that have created a culture of safety also perform their work to their customers well and with excellence. I am challenging the task force with this key focus. How to migrate TriMet to the highest levels of safety and performance? I want this task force to look under every rock to make sure that we are doing everything we can to ensure safety for our customers and also high quality customer service at the same time. We want to look how transit riders, pedestrians, bicycles, other drivers interact with our system. When you think about a rider, they're first of all a pedestrian. We need to keep safety first and foremost front of our mind. One industry that has learned that safety is, safety is a leading indicator is the construction industry. Very often it's viewed there as safety is the canary in the coal mine. If safety is a miss, other things are amiss as well. That's why I've asked former TriMet General Manager Tom Walsh to head this task force. Tom led the agency a dozen years ago, from 1990 to 1998, but he has spent most of his career on construction, and he's come with a very strong ethic of safety from that background. His extensive knowledge of the agency, however, will allow him to hit the ground running and make sure that the work of this task force is, gets going as quickly as possible. 
The panel will conduct a comprehensive and I hope thoughtful review and complete their work as expeditiously as possible. A roster of the members of the task force are available to you, but includes a variety of different expertise, it includes a traffic engineer, uh, public safety professionals, professional drivers, uh, advocates for pedestrians and cyclists, a TriMet bus operator, as well as a TriMet rail operator, and individuals who focus on communication and, and organizational excellence. The task force will report to me. It will begin meeting in July with a target completion date for October. The panel will review documents, research issues, solicit public comment and ideas, and make appropriate or draft uh, and draft findings and recommendations. In the meantime, TriMet is also awaiting phase two of the comprehensive safety review. We expect to review, receive that review in August. The second phase includes a review of the bus equipment installed to uh, enhance pedestrian safety, our accident review procedures, and our review of our bus stop placement guidelines. With that, I'd like to thank you all and uh, also pause for any questions you might have.